Was he adhering to his own COVID protocols at this point? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of speculation online from abroad and inside of China about Xi Jinping's whereabouts in the last couple of weeks. But if you just look at the COVID zero protocols, it requires all people returning from abroad to have uh, 10 days of quarantine followed by, uh, excuse me, seven days of quarantine followed by three days of home isolation. And this falls smack in line with those protocols. At least uh, the public optics are that Xi Jinping uh, essentially adhered to his own policies and his own protocols. But Again, there's always speculation ahead of such a highly politically charged time like the Party Congress, which starts in two and a half weeks. I remember when I was the China correspondent in 2012, 10 years ago, when Xi Jinping was first appointed, of course, General Secretary and President of China. He disappeared from public view for a few weeks, and there was lots of speculation, obviously, about his, dare I say, political standing. And that has resumed a little bit this time, especially since he made that over overseas trips so close to the party congress. It's extremely rare for a party general secretary to go outside of China so close to what should be a leadership transition at the, at the party congress. So all seems to be well. He was seen by, through public, uh, through state media as attending an exhibit in Beijing uh, hailing the successes of China over the last decade, the decade, of course, which he has been the ruler. Morgan Stanley is the latest big bank, Steve, to predict China will likely ease COVID zero restrictions by next year. It's interesting because uh, there's not a lot of analysts that we're speaking to now that are willing to crystal ball gaze into what they might do after the Congress. Yeah, that's always a difficult thing to predict what policy might uh, come, uh, especially, again, because of the Party Congress coming up in two and a half weeks. But also you have the National People's Congress in March, where they act uh, on a legislative basis on the directives that come from the Party Congress that starts October 16th. Uh, so, you know, predicting when COVID zero might be relaxed is very difficult. However, Morgan Stanley is the latest of the big international investment banks to kind of earmark the spring of next year as a likely time that these COVID restrictions would uh, be re relaxed because uh, Goldman Sachs last week said China won't begin reopening until the second quarter of next year. Nomura sees possible opening after March. The NPC, by the way, is held every year in March. So we have to get through these politically charged uh, events and then maybe because of necessity, because slowing exports, uh, slowing property market, the slowing economy is going to necessitate according to many of these banks an easing and in particular uh, Nomura excuse me Morgan Stanley says uh, this COVID zero policy pressure will build uh, because it kind of is at odds with common prosperity with youth unemployment and other metrics are uh, really weakening